Good day everyone and welcome to Drawing with Paolo. Today, another holiday drawing. We're going to be drawing the Grinch. Yeah, the Grinch from that tale of how the Grinch stole Christmas. And this is the Grinch head and hat to begin with. Every year since I've been a little child, maybe six or seven years old, I've been watching the Grinch. The Grinch which heralds in the holiday season. And so this is what we're going to draw today. Uh, every year at the end or the beginning of a year, whichever way you want to see it, uh, I tend to draw a holiday season drawing. And in this case, we're going to be drawing the Grinch. This will be the third uh, holiday drawing, I believe. I think I have a Santa Claus and a stuff and now the Grinch. And they're always on a roof somewhere or in a chimney. And that's what we're going to do. So this is the Grinch's head. You see his cheek here, his right cheek, coming down to a few necklines. So erase those center lines there that we don't need anymore. And we're going to draw his neckline over here, like that, which go down to a collar. And he'll have a bag here on his shoulder. And we'll draw in his eyebrows, sort of like this. Very simple lines. One on the right side here too. And then draw in some almond-shaped eyes, sort of like this. And the Grinch is very expressive, so we need to create those Lots of curved lines, lots of detail in his face. And here's his nose, little T-shaped nose. This is where I say it looks like a letter T with a, this little part going down. I think that notice, I think I made it too big. That nose is way too big. Yeah, it's not gonna work. So we're gonna erase that, just like this, and retrace that nose, but a little bit smaller. Ah, that's better. The Grinch doesn't have a huge nose. So he, his schnoz is a little, is smaller. And this size seems to fit correctly for me. There we go. Give him a big grin, a big genius robber grin, <laughs> like that. There you go. And of course, the Grinch has eyeballs, and um, his eyes are red in the cartoon and become blue later on when he understands the meaning of Christmas. But in our case, they'll be gray in this, in this uh, version. Of course, the Grinch's face is hairy, so we need to draw hair. And if you haven't drawn hair before, you can go and check out my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel has tons of hair drawings. So you'll get dogs and cats and bears and wolves. So you can check those out and uh, practice that. And then it'll give you an easier time here drawing the Grinch. I have to say, however, the Grinch is an easy enough drawing to, to produce. It'll take about 16 minutes to get this guy done. Uh, with not too much fast forwarding this time. I tend to fast forward the coloring parts because sort of not boring to watch. Like, who wants to watch somebody color for 10 minutes, right? So his, uh, the hat brim is uh, made of uh, pillow stuffing and uh, it looks like a cloud essentially. And now we're going to just retrace his hat, make this nice dark line around it. And I may want to erase some of these lines. You can see there's some overlapping here, so I'm going to get rid of that later on with my eraser. After I do his pom-pom here, and we're going to color in the hat. Nice gray tone, just like that. And then we'll color in here a dark shadow, the bottom right side, so that it gives a bit more depth or volume to that hat. That look pretty good. A little bit of a gradient going all the way towards the left, just like this. Not bad at all. All right, let, let's erase those lines as I said earlier. I'm just going to get rid of those foundation lines that we built in and uh, that we don't need anymore. That still, we can see through the hat. And let's add a few fold lines to his eyes here. Retrace those eye lines. Retrace his uh, the, the lip divider there in the middle. And the same thing for his little smile here, nice hairy smile. Do the right side here, just like that. And then of course finish the side of his face. Same sort of hairy line going all the way down, just like this. Now we need to color in those eyes. As I said earlier, his eyes are blue, but we're gonna color them gray. Just redefine those lines a little bit better in there. There we go, and give them a bit of a Darker frown here, we'll add some shadowing underneath his hat. Push the top of his head back a little bit there. 
underneath the hat needs to be dark. And erase some of the foundation lines that we don't need anymore. Retrace his nose. Take your time. There's no rush. If you think I'm drawing too quickly, you can pause this video at any time and catch up. That's the whole point. The point is to draw at the same time as I'm drawing. But as I recommend usually is you can watch it once to get an idea of what I'm doing and then uh, watch it again while drawing. It makes it a little bit easier. Okay, let's color in this eye. There we go, nice and darker gray. And this big smiley face here. Got those cheek folds in there. A lip down here. There we go. This uh, Grinch has many pleats to his face, and when he makes these huge smirks, everything bends and folds, and it's really cool. And he has his collar here, which is made of that same, same uh, pillow stuffing. His right arm that bends here, and will be uh, he'll be holding on to the the edge of the fireplace. There's his left arm that bends. He'll be uh, leaning on the fireplace with his elbow here. There's his arm like that. And then, of course, he has cuffs that are made of that same pillow stuffing, like clouds, essentially, making clouds here. And then here's the uh, edge of the chimney. And the other side here, just like that. And, of course, the thickness here on the far right side, going all the way down, following the same line. And then his belly right here. So now we can retrace these lines. I'm happy with them. I'm satisfied. If you're not with, uh, satisfied with your lines, you can erase them. I'm glad with mine, so I'm just going to retrace them. Make them nice and dark. And make them thicker. So we can see the shape of the Grinch here. There we go. I'm going to create that puffy cloud feeling around his neck overlapping those strokes. Need a bit more pencil here. Put that bag all the way towards his hand, just like this. And then of course we're going to give him a bit of shading to his face. All the way down. And not to forget, you know, that little fold here in his cheek. There we go, that's coming along fine. Same on the right side, and underneath here, same thing. Adding some shading here a little bit more, give that more volume, make it look like it's curving in there. And of course in the nostrils, nice and black. Underneath the eyes here, make this a little bit darker for the, to show that it has eyebrows. This Grinch is such a kook. Make, made his whole clothing from red curtains in his house vandalizes his own house to go rob a whole town's worth of content of gifts and decorations and everything. Crazy guy. Let's add some uh, puffiness around his uh, cuff here as well. And we're going to add a few fingers coming over the edge here of the fireplace. Not the fireplace, but the chimney, of course. So, four fingers. Here's two there we go, it's sort of like tapping them, you know, on the edge of the chimney like that. And here's three. I'm going to draw his thumb later on. For the moment, we're going to color in this suit. Lice, a nice light gray. A lice night gray. <laughs> a nice light gray. And I need to draw his other hand here, which is a little bit hairy, so I'm going to add some hair. He's as hairy as I am, apparently, the Grinch is. And we'll add some puffy cloudiness here. Just like that. Underneath this. Need a bit more pencil here and color that in. Nice and dark back here. Pushes that shape beyond his arm. Puts it all the way back there. And that's what we want. We want to have that nice semblance of depth in this drawing. So. Uh, contrast is important. We have the lip of the, the chimney here. 
There we go, with a little bit of a thickness like this, bend that back up, and another, another one on this edge here. And erase those lines that you don't need, and color in this jacket. Nice light gray, same shade of gray as we did his first arm, the left arm, and his right arm should be the same color. Put a little bit of a shading here underneath, give more depth to our drawing. There you go. Check it out, it's coming along pretty well, I find. I'm going to retrace these fingers now with hair. There's his index finger. And we've got in these two other ones as well. Once your lines are pre-drawn, redrawing this stuff is super simple. So, you, you know, you draw lightly at first, as we did at the beginning. And now it's easy for me to just uh, retrace over my content. It's a lot darker. So that now all of my work, once I've put in my foundations, the foundation lines are is pretty much done. And add uh, the thickness to the chimney a little bit more to the left here. And erase the lines we don't need. And then add a big Santa Claus bag. And because his bag is full already, like he's coming out of the chimney, I would say, uh, he's got boxes and things in his bag already. So that's why it's sort of squarish. All right, we're going to add some fold lines here for the bag that's curving over his shoulder. Just like that. We'll color this in to make it darker a little bit back there. Nice. Color in the underside of his collar. And add a few more details here to his face. Go. All right, let's add a few bricks to our chimney. I don't want to fill it in like a, an ordinary chimney. I want like a few blocks here and there to give the impression of bricks, but I don't really want to just fill in the whole thing as if a brick was connected to another one and so on and so forth. We're just going to add a few elements of chimney bricks. Just little rectangles here and there. Just like that. Maybe one over here and one on this side like that. And follow the angles, right? We need to draw these rectangles as following the top of the chimney. So they need to be angled like this. And we're going to color those in. We're going to color each one of these bricks on the front facade. And then on the right side, we're going to color the whole thing and then color the bricks darker. Just like that. Look at it. That's pretty good. Let's add another brick maybe right here. Nice. Watch those fingers. Good stuff. Alright, so now we're going to add a little bit of a shading element. So all I'm doing is zigzagging here, zigzag, 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 going all the way across, all the way across the right side here too. And then we're going to add a little bit more darker line here, and add a thinner, darker shadow just above that one on the far left side. Here. And then of course underneath his arm, it needs to be dark as well. So we're really going to show that that arm is on the chimney. And the bag here should have shadowing as well. I'm going to shade this up nice and dark, and the top should be a little bit lighter too, uh, darker color I should say, to detach from the background. The background will, will remain white. Adding a few lines here to that bag, and of course a little bit of shading to his cuffs. Let's not forget the right one either. There we go. Like one, two. Just a little bit of shading like that. Gives it a little bit more detail, a little bit more finesse. And of course, his collar, same fashion. His hat. A very light shading here. But we're nearly done. We maybe have about two minutes left. Maybe a minute. All right, so now we're going to add a little bit of a reflection to his eye. I've erased it a little bit. Now we're going to add a little circle that we're going to keep white. The rest we're going to color around, just like that. And then we're going to add a little bit of a reflection here on the right side. Same thing for the other eye. Adds that little bit of a wet look to the eyeball. Gives it a bit more realism. Realism. There we go. Hairy, hairy face. Needs to shave this guy. 
darken the lines here. I like to see the chimney a little bit more. Just like that. All right. We got a few more lines here and there. But essentially, our drawing is coming to a close. I'd like to wish all of my fans, all my DWP fans around the world, a happy holidays, happy new year. This is the last drawing video for 2014. Once I finish drawing this thumb, this is it for 2014. This is my fourth year of drawing for you guys. I have 48,000 subscribers and I thank every one of them for being there every week. Um, thank you for your patience for every new drawing. And you know what? We'll see you uh, next year. Have a great holiday. See you next time.